Marietta, Georgia and Alpharetta, Georgia are certainly two of the most popular suburbs in all of Metro Atlanta. But which one is better? Let's talk about that. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're talking about the differences between Marietta and Alpharetta and trying to figure out which one might be better for you. Right off the bat, one of the differences is where they're located in relation to the city of Atlanta. Marietta is in the northwest part of Metro Atlanta, and Alpharetta is like north of Marietta, like almost directly north, straight up Highway 400. Both of these cities are about the same distance to the city of Atlanta, but one of the differences there is that Marietta is one of the larger cities in all of Metro Atlanta. Area-wise, it's certainly larger than the city of Alpharetta. So depending on what part of Marietta you're in, it can be a big difference in time-wise to travel to the city of Atlanta. You could be in the south part of Marietta and get to Atlanta within 20 minutes, or you can be in the northern part of Marietta and it might take 45 minutes to get to Atlanta, whereas Alpharetta is a smaller city area-wise. So for the most part, no matter what part of Alpharetta you're in, it's going to be about a 30 to 45 minute commute to the city of Atlanta. Both Marietta and Alpharetta have a major highway that runs through them. Marietta has Interstate 75 and Alpharetta has Highway 400. And for the most part, people who live in one of these cities travel to the city of Atlanta using either Interstate 75 or Highway 400. Highway 400 is very much like an interstate. It's not like a typical Georgia highway. It's more like a five lane interstate. So it allows for a large volume of cars, even though it will get pretty congested during rush hour traffic. And then because the Atlanta airport is on the south side of Atlanta, it's even south of downtown. Again, it's going to be about the same distance from Marietta and Alpharetta to get to the airport in Atlanta. Okay, let's talk about the city centers of these two cities. Marietta has Marietta Square and Alpharetta has downtown Alpharetta. Now, one thing that you would notice right off the bat when you get to either one of these two is that downtown Marietta or Marietta Square is a much older looking city center than downtown Alpharetta. Downtown Alpharetta is much newer. The buildings look newer. They look more modern. So generally, the feel of those two city centers is that downtown Alpharetta feels newer, feels more airy. It feels uh, more fresh, I guess you could say. Downtown Alpharetta has this green lawn in the middle of the downtown area there where lots of people like to spend time or have a picnic. And then Marietta Square also has like a park in the middle of the square called Glover Park. And Glover Park is a bit larger than like the green space there in downtown Alpharetta. And so you can have more people there typically in downtown Marietta than you can in downtown Alpharetta. Both Marietta Square and downtown Alpharetta have lots of shops and lots of restaurants. So it's super common for the residents of these two cities to go to the downtown area and nights and weekends, or if you're looking for a place to go out to eat, these two downtown areas are a great option for the residents of these two cities. Marietta Square is off of North Marietta Parkway, which is like the main road that you would take to get to Marietta Square, and then downtown Alpharetta is off of Highway 9. Both of these two roads, North Marietta Parkway and Highway 9, are some of the major roads that run through those two cities. And these roads are not like interstate roads, they're not like highways, they're more like two or three lane roads that have a lot of uh, stoplights at the intersections. So during rush hour traffic, those roads can get pretty backed up because of those stoplights. Of course, it's red light, green light all the way down those roads, which is a major factor for why there's so much traffic on those roads during rush hour. And then certainly one of the biggest differences between these two cities is the age of the homes. Of course, if you're thinking about moving to Marietta or the city of Alpharetta, feel free to call, text, or email me anytime. Thank you so much to everyone who has reached out. I'm more than happy to help. Okay, let's talk about the age of the homes in these two cities. Typically, you're going to find older homes in the city of Marietta, homes that were built in like the 70s and 80s, a few in the 90s. This is really the most common age home that you're going to find in Marietta. There are newer homes. You can find homes built in the 2000s and 2010s, 
and they're just not as common. It's not as common to find new construction in the city of Marietta. In Alpharetta, though, you are going to find more homes built in the 90s, some in the 80s, and then a lot more in like the early 2000s. So it's very common to find newer construction homes in Alpharetta than you can in Marietta. Now, of course, there's pros and cons to those age difference in the homes. Many people would argue that the older homes are going to have more character in them, more charm, and then the newer homes, of course, are going to be maybe less problematic. You're not going to have as much deferred maintenance with the newer homes. So something that you might want to take into consideration if you plan on living in either one of those two cities. Another big factor that comes with the homes in these two cities is the prices of the homes in these two cities. In Marietta, the average home value or the average list price for a home is going to be about $450, whereas in Alpharetta, the average list price is going to be closer to about $700,000. So a very big difference in the prices of the homes and the home values in these two cities. For the most part, Marietta and Alpharetta are really quite similar. Again, the feel in Marietta is a bit older, but the price difference is so significant. For many people, it's certainly worth being in Marietta and paying less for your home, even if the feel of the city is a little bit older. And really what this means is that you're gonna get more home for your money in Marietta than you are in Alpharetta. For a typical three bedroom, two bath home, in Alpharetta, again, you're gonna be paying about 650 to 700. Whereas in Marietta, it's gonna be 400 to 450. And while we're talking about home prices, let's talk more specifically about the city of Marietta because Marietta is a big city and there are lots of different parts of the city of Marietta. For example, West Cobb, the average home value might be about 450, but East Cobb, the average home value is going to be about 500. And then in like the southwest part of Marietta, the average home value might be more like 400,000. So there are really different parts of Marietta that vary greatly because of the size of Marietta. And each of these parts of Marietta all have their pros and cons. I personally like West Cobb better than East Cobb, even though I live in East Cobb, but I used to live in West Cobb. And there are lots of young families in East Cobb as well. And the schools are great in East Cobb as well. It's just that the West part of town is a bit more, uh, it's a, I guess it's a quieter town. It's uh, more rural in the West part of Marietta. You're gonna get more lot size for your homes there in West Cobb. I would guess that there are more parks probably in West Cobb as well. Like in general, there's just more land, more undeveloped land in West Cobb. And then in East Cobb, there's going to be um, the homes are certainly older in East Cobb, uh, less lot sizes in East Cobb. And then of course, the home values are going to be higher in East Cobb. Okay, now let's talk about the difference in the school qualities in these two cities. According to greatschools.org, the average school rating in Marietta, Georgia is about a seven and a half out of 10, whereas in Alpharetta, the average school rating is closer to about a nine out of 10. But again, a big part of this has to do with the size of Marietta. In East Cobb, the average school rating is a nine out of 10. In West Cobb, it's probably about an eight, eight and a half. So there certainly are parts of Marietta that have comparable quality schools to Alpharetta where you don't have to pay the average 700,000 for a home. But of course the city of Alpharetta has the excellent school ratings, the newer homes, the nicer downtown area. So really all depends on what you're looking for. There's no question that Alpharetta is the most desirable suburb to live in in all of Metro Atlanta. So there really are a lot of factors when it comes to choosing which suburb you want to live in. Overall, my preference, if you can't already tell, is the city of Marietta because you get more home for your money there, comparable schools, just as much parks and green space and things to do in Marietta that you would find in Alpharetta. But Alpharetta certainly has some great points as well. For example, Alpharetta has the Avalon, which is not something that you can find in the city of Marietta. And then Alpharetta also has the nicer downtown area. Keep in mind though that Marietta has the Battery, which is like where the Atlanta Braves play, which is like, that's where the stadium is. 
but also around there are a bunch of places to hang out, spend time. There's shops and restaurants there, and the Battery is really a super popular place to spend time in Marietta. You really can't go wrong between Marietta and Alpharetta. Both of them have their pros and cons, and they're just two of the excellent suburbs that we have here in Metro Atlanta. If you want to know more about the best suburbs in all of Atlanta, check out this video. I'll see you there.